I think being a culturally sensitive teacher begins with building a strong relationship with your students. It also um, is teaching that addresses the differences in your classroom, and it's also being careful about the types of assessment that you use. What I find interesting about the building a rapport with students is there was a study done by Harvard that was looking at our efforts to close the achievement gap, and they found there really wasn't a large difference between the white students and the students of color when they were asked questions about what they wanted in school and what they liked about school and what a good education was. There was only one question that made a difference for the students. The students of color said it mattered to them whether their teacher liked them. The white students didn't care about that. And if that's true, then that really makes it incumbent upon us to build a rapport and a relationship with all of our students, but being particularly sensitive to our students of color. And I think building a relationship goes beyond just, you know, hi, how are you doing today? I think it goes into after school, noting what sort of activities they're doing. You know, one of the teachers and I went to a basketball game yesterday that one of our students was in. And it's important that we're trying to build that connection with students, that we're looking at them and noticing in their faces, how are they feeling today? And then the next day going, you said you were a little tired yesterday. How are you feeling today? It's really important to show that you care, and not in a superficial way, but in a really meaningful way. And you need to lay that foundation the first day of class. And that you may feel like is taking time away from your curriculum and your teaching, but if you lay that foundation, you're going to have so much more success with your teaching down the road. Once you get to know your students well, that's going to help you with your teaching because you know what's the right material to choose for them. You know what their interests are. You know what's going to engage them. You know how to hook them into the learning. And history is teaching about people, is teaching about events, but there's so many analogies with today, but you have to make the right analogies. So if you know what your students care about, that's gonna help you in doing a much better job in making your teaching relevant to the students. I think the third piece is assessment. We have to be sure that we're giving our students choices when they have assessment. So students should have a, a way of demonstrating their knowledge that allows them to bring their own passions, their own interests into it, as long as they're meeting the criteria that you've set for your assessment. So it's no surprise that when we're looking at one of my assignments on the struggle for freedom, that I have students choose what groups they want to examine. My student, whose parents were born in China, is interested in the late 1800s, what happened to the Chinese and the discrimination that they faced. One of my students who was Muslim wanted to focus on more recent events and how people who are Muslim feel like they're being discriminated against today. So that's important that you're letting students take their own cultural identity and express it in their learning somehow. So assessment's a really crucial piece in your teaching. The other thing that I think is important is when you're selecting what you want to teach students, you have to make sure students feel like they're seeing their own face in history. And I think of the analogy of when you go to a party and the next day someone shows you the pictures that they've taken. And if you don't see your face in any of those photos, one, you're going to question, was I really there last night? But you're also going to feel like you're not important. And that's why I think it's really important that we're sensitive about what we choose to teach, what materials that we're using, because we want everyone to feel like they see a piece of themselves in that lesson.